this video, I'm going to show you and tell you everything you need to know about our curtains. This curtain in the front of the stage is the grand drape. You operate the curtain, you take the pulleys, which are on stage right, and you pull it like this to open, and then you pull like this to close. As you continue going up stage, you will see the traveler. The traveler works the same as the grand drape. You pull on the ropes to open it, and you pull to close it. This curtain splits the stage down the center, so you can have you can use half of the stage and have stuff behind it, but it basically just creates a barrier from upstage and downstage. And then moving more up this way, this is the back traveler. And when you open, you see this white curtain. This white curtain goes across the entire way, and it is called the cyclorama or the psych. This curtain is so expensive and so fragile, and it is worth more than your entire life. So whenever you are working back here, you have to stay away from the psych or make sure the psych is covered and protected because this curtain is super expensive and it needs to be handled with the utmost care. When you are doing work in the theater, like at a scene build or in tech class or anything, you never want to get close to the curtains because these curtains are, are very fragile and we don't want bad things to happen to them or paint to get on them or anything. So whenever you are working in the theater, you must keep your workspace at least five feet away from the curtains at all times. You never want to be around them. Another way to keep the curtains safe is to put them in pods. The only curtains that you put in pods are the legs, and these curtains are the legs. The curtains that create the wings are the legs, and the wings are used to uh, create a pathway uh, for actors going on and off stage or techies doing a transition. And they, the curtains also block out some of backstage so you can't really see what's going on back there. But to put a curtain in a pod, this is how you do it. You grab one end and you grab the other end and you fold it in to the middle and then you fold this one in over that curtain. And then you do the same thing once more. After you have folded it four times, you spin the curtain like this and you take the bottom of it and you put it in the little pocket you made when you were folding the curtain. And this puts the curtain up so that way nothing can even really get too close to it. That is a great way to keep our curtains clean and safe.